What's up guys? It's Crystal here and I am back with another review video and if you've watched my last video the Misha M Magic BB Cushion review then you guys will know this video is also a sponsored video by Misha and just like the last video I'm gonna keep my opinions a hundred percent honest I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything what I say and how I feel about this product is a hundred percent true and I know the last video was really, really long, so I'm hoping this video is a lot shorter for you guys. It probably is going to be. Um, I like to be detailed in my videos, so if any of you guys are like, why is it so long? It's because I want to help anyone who kind of has like a budget or likes to know what they're spending their money on or for those who are smart shoppers because, I mean, you know, you have to work hard for your money and you do work hard for your money so you want to know what you're spending it on which is why I'm super detailed and I don't really plan to not be de as detailed or short my videos um, in the future but anyways, moving on I am reviewing Misha's new lipstick, the Glam Rogue lipstick and this line has 19 absolutely beautiful shades I actually had a hard time figuring out what shade I wanted because they're just so many shades and they were all so pretty but the color I settled on is baby coral and honestly this shade is beautiful too like I really love this color so this little guy here is 22 US dollars it weighs 3.6 grams for anyone who's wondering how heavy it is the lipstick is also made at a 34 degree angle for optimal and easy application onto your lips and when you fully twist the lipstick out here there is 2.4 centimeters worth of product so going into the key ingredients of this lipstick, it is made with a color capture oil for vivid pigmentation and long wear benefits. It's embossed fitting powder for outstanding adherence to your lips. There's Bulgarian rose oil and rose of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho for hydration and nourishment. So there's all that goodness packed into this lipstick here. And the casing and packaging is all like so beautiful. Like it's black with gold right here. And I think it's kind of like the outline of lips, but you might beg to differ from that. But I think it kind of looks like an outline of lips. And the reason why it's made this way is so that it is easily fitted into your hand. So they, Misha thought about all the aspects of this lipstick, which is very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip of when I first unboxed this lipstick. And this is the Misha uh, Glam Art Rogue lipstick. It's um, pretty brand new, according to um, Jessica, who spoke to me. Um, and I don't know, it looks kind of interesting. Black box, gold design there. And it looks, honestly, it looks really snazzy. Like it looks really fancy. So it still has that black and gold kind of design to it. Ooh, it's magnetic. And when you pull it off, wow, look at that. I don't know, so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Welcome back and honestly I don't have a first impression clip to play for you guys because I kind of just tried it without thinking about grabbing my camera but I honestly remember how I first felt about this lipstick and let me tell you guys when I first tried this lipstick I did not like this lipstick at all. Keep in mind I have very dry lips and it's quite I don't want to say crusty because it's not that bad but it's dry and I tend to bite my lips and I rub my lips unconsciously when I'm like studying or reading so those are all bad habits that kind of don't let my lips be in the best shape that it can be and it doesn't matter how much water I drink my lips are just never you know like hydrated which is weird I could be drinking water all day and it's still dry <laughs> anyways when I first used this lipstick honestly application was easy color was very pigmented but it was so incredibly patchy that I had just to rub it off my lips and put on a different lip product because I could not leave the house with my lips so colored and patched up. Like it just did not look right. And uh, I have a lot of creases in my lips so the color also settled into those creases as well. So I don't know, I was so shocked and I was like, this, this I can't leave the house like this. So I had to like rub it off and put something else on. So my first impression of this lipstick was already kind of negative, but you know, I wanted to keep experimenting with this lipstick because I'm like, not a lot of lipsticks work for me because of all those bad habits that I have. Um, so I really wanted to give this a shot. I 
you know, experimented constantly with this lipstick to figure out what would work best with this. So right now, as of right now, it's been three weeks since I had this lipstick and tried it. And let me tell you guys that I figured out the lipstick and how I like to wear it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll right into my pros as always. So first things first, the color, beautiful. The color is so pretty, the shade is beautiful. Another note is that it's very pigmented, very, very pigmented, so that's really good. And it's buildable, so if you want it to be more pigmented, you can build up the color. I feel like the 34 degree, you know, creation of the lipstick really works well because it's such an easy application onto my lips. Most lipsticks kind of like go, like for me when I apply it, it goes out of my lips a little bit and then I would have to fix it with concealer or something. But this, I have no problems with applying this on my lips with. And I don't even need to apply any chapstick or anything like that because this product is so moisturizing already. And also chapstick on, and then the lipstick kind of doesn't do it justice because it kind of turns patchy and blotchy. So you don't need chapstick at all. This is moisturizing on its own. and. Kind of like if you apply the color more and more, it will be glossy. There's also no stickiness to it. So like when I do this, there's no stickiness. And just so you know, I'm wearing it right now. So that's always a plus with lipsticks for it not to be sticky. Uh, this lipstick also works amazing as a lip tint or stainer because it definitely does kind of stain your lips a little bit. So I mean, if you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you, but I actually like it kind of stained. And this product works the best when I exfoliate my lips. Also, um, I don't really have like a how to use this product because I don't think I need to but uh, just for anyone who's curious, after I exfoliate my lips, if I'm using it as like a lip tint or stainer, what I do is that I apply one layer and then I take a tissue, put it in between my upper and bottom lips and then I kind of press my lips down on the tissue and remove it and there's like that first layer and it kind of creates like a little natural kind of tint or stain to it and then if I want more color, I just apply another layer and do the same thing and I can build it up that way if I'm trying to go a little light. Um, I also sometimes apply it with my fingers because I like to kind of go lighter because even after I exfoliate, sometimes it still patches up. Um, so what I do is that I just use my ring finger, rub the lipstick onto my finger and pat it onto my lips and I feel like that works the best with my lips with minimizing the patchiness. So I kind of learned to work around the formula of this lipstick and kind of make it benefit me. But of course, um, there's still some cons after using it for three weeks. So like I stated and I keep saying, it's very patchy. It still patches if I directly apply it to my lips, even if I exfoliate. So which is why I tend to kind of pat it into my skin more than I actually apply it with the lipstick. Sometimes I'll apply it with the lipstick and then kind of use my finger, pat it. I'll just lightly apply and then pat it, but there's still some patchiness, but it's not as bad if you, or if I apply it with my fingers. It definitely still sticks to dry skin on my lips because sometimes when I exfoliate, I might be exfoliating too fast or not really noticing some areas aren't as exfoliated and a little dry, so it does still adhere to dry skin. The long lasting quality is, like I said, it works great as a stain or a lip tint and it lasts long as a stain or a lip tint. But as a lipstick, I kind of feel like it doesn't last as long because I noticed after I eat, the lipstick aspect of it kind of goes away, but like it kind of stays on as like a stain or a tint. So as a lipstick, it's not as long lasting. And honestly, like I said, you don't need to apply chapstick, but if you do, just know that it's not gonna work at all. Like well with chapstick. It kind of gets blotchy with chapstick and I thought that I can kind of put lip gloss on top as well. Don't do that either. You don't really need it, the lip gloss, because I mean, it kind of gets glossy uh, on its own, but um, sometimes I kind of go for that natural look and then I want a little bit of gloss. It definitely makes it look worse when I apply gloss or chapstick, so you should avoid that. I mean, everyone can experience differently with the lipstick, but for me, I avoid using glosses or chapsticks with this product. But yeah, honestly, the first time I tried this lipstick, I absolutely did not like this lipstick. But after giving it a chance, experimenting with it for three weeks, I kind of figured out how to make this lipstick work for me. And honestly, I really like it now. And I think the color is so nice. And you know, can you see that? Oh, it's such a pretty color. Now, after three weeks, I actually really, really like this lipstick. So. That's just me. Um, I mean, everyone could experience this lipstick differently, but that's just how I am because most of the time I don't really have good experiences with lipsticks. But yeah, so if you have really smooth lips, 
like you don't have that many creases and you're very hydrated um, and your lips don't get dry often, this lipstick might be like perfect for you. Like, especially if you're looking for high pigmented lipsticks that are easy to apply. Also, if you don't mind exfoliating before using this lipstick, then by all means, this lipstick's really great. Um, but for anyone that has dry lips or bites their lips a lot, like me, or don't really want to take the time to figure out how this lipstick can benefit you, then you should steer clear from it because if your lips are kind of like mine, you will have to put in a little bit of extra work to kind of figure out how this lipstick is going to work for you, which is kind of what I did. But you know, honestly, after figuring it out, I honestly really, really like this lipstick. Yeah, so all in all, I think this lipstick is great. I had a little trouble with it, but we are now friends. Me and this lipstick are now friends. <laughs> but yeah, so this wraps it up here. If there's any questions that you have about this lipstick, anything I left out at all, go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer those questions. If you found this video really helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.